Hey, welcome back everyone. Last time we saw how to optimize the data fetching here. So we don't we don't fetch the data when we don't need to. So in this one, we are gonna go ahead and add image thumbnails to our, our contact. So for example, you can see like on Google contacts, when a user does not have an image, they give them this generic name, the, the generic letter that comes from their name. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do something similar. So for us to be able to do that, you notice that whenever we have contacts, so our contacts can either have a picture or not. So whenever they don't have a picture, the value of the picture is going to be null. So you can easily check by this value to know what to render here. So instead of us rendering this image here, so if you go to the list, instead of us rendering this image, I'm gonna set up a simple component. So this component, so it's gonna be, let me actually put it in a file called image thumb. In a folder called image thumb, then it's gonna be called index.js. So this is gonna be a simple function, a simple functional component. So I'm gonna call it image thumb. So it's gonna be taking in the first name, last name, and then the source. So first name, last name, and then the source. So we are going to be using this last name and first name to create the initials. So what we could do is here, inside the return, you're going to check if source is there. So if source is not now, so you can check if source, then we want to show the image. So we actually want to show something like this if the source is there. So here I can just have this, make sure you're importing the image. And then if we don't have source, I can set up something simple. So if there is no source, we are gonna have a div. So in this div, we will have a span. So we don't need the source in the div. Okay, let's make sure we close it. So inside the div, we can have a span. So this span now will be the one to show uh, the initials. So for us, we are actually not going to be showing one data like these guys, we'll be showing two. So we we'll pick the first letter on the first name and the last and the first letter in the last name. So we can we can create a function here called like, get initials. So let me create this. So inside here I can create this function. Get initials, it's not taking in anything because we already have what we need. So we will return the first letter and the first name. So we can get the first letter in the first name. So return the first letter in the first name. So you can get the first letter in the first name. Let me use these back ticks. So you can get the first letter in the first name by doing first name zero. And then we want the same thing for the last name. So I'm gonna copy this here. Then same thing, but this is gonna be last name. Okay, so that will mean that instead of us showing the picture when we don't have the source, we show the span with the initials. So I'm going to now uh, use this component. So instead here, instead of us using this one, I'm gonna put this component and we pass the source, then we need to pass the first name and last name. So first name will be equal to the first name. So that is actually here, you can copy this. So the last name, this will be this last name. Okay, so actually let's first check if we have these two because the user might not pass them. We don't want to throw something unexpected. So let's check if we have first name and last name. And of course you could do more checks here, but I'm just showing you like the idea, how the idea would be if you want to do this. So let me put this one here. So else we can just return an empty string. Okay, so this will be the source that we get passed in. Okay, so right here, we have this. I think this is okay. So if you come back to the application, it's gonna reload here. And you can see that it gives us the TU and the, the JS. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is provide the way that the user can style this. So, here in the component, I'm gonna allow a user to pass a custom class name. So class name, also a custom style if they need to. 
So what we will do is here on the image, we will, we will set the style to what they set. Then something for the class name, if they ever pass it in, we'll set it to theirs. So if they don't, if there is no source, here we will actually do the same thing. Should be class name. So if we don't have the, the source, so on this div, we're gonna remove this stuff here, so they are not practical there. So we'll have the style and the class name, but on this one, I want us to have an initial style. So we can set that one up using, we can set that one up using prop types, but what I'm gonna do is actually use a CSS class to this. So in CSS, the way you combine classes is you can have a class. Let's say you have a class like thumbnail, thumbnail, and then you can leave a space and then add another class. So for us, we have an initial one, which will be the thumbnail. And then if a user passes a class name, we will basically override our, our own. So what we do is I'm going to create a simple CSS class here. So I'm going to actually have a file called style.css. So in here, I can have the thumbnail. So here we need to import that CSS. So import style CSS. So in the CSS, for it to look like an image actually, I'm going to go ahead and give it a circle size. So we can have an initial size for like 45. So here we can have, actually, so we can have an initial width. So we can have like a background color. So I'm gonna have a background color. So it's gonna be gray for now. Then I will have a color, so color will be white for now. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So you can see that that gives it these colors here, you see? So if we go to how we are using the component, uh, that is in the list, which is here, you notice that we are not passing in the style or the class name. So if I came here and passed the style, so let's say style equals, let's say we did, 45, 8, 8, 45, and save. So that's going to reload. And you can see that when we pass this, this is going to be sent to our child component, and it's going to use that style. So you see that now it is bigger and taking up the style. So what we want to do is make these texts bigger and also put them in the center and make this circular. So the way we do that is we are just going to go to the CSS and put the font size. So the font size is going to be, let's use 21. Then we will also have a border radius. So we can have like a 50%. So that will, let's see, that will make sure that it's round. But now to center this, we are going to go ahead and say display flex. Then we can have a justify content center. Okay, so that's if it reloads. That's gonna go ahead and put everything in the center. But you see they are not actually in the middle, so we can also have align items center. So you see that puts it in the middle. So good. So let's make this one a little bit bolder. So to do that, we can have a font weight. Let's have like a border. Okay, so that looks good to me. We can actually decide to push this one a little bit in, on the right. So we can have a margin right. And M margin right. So we can have like a 10 pixels. Yeah, so that's gonna go ahead and do it. So if you create an image that, if you create a contact that has an image, so I'm gonna actually create a contact that has an image. So let's say, Jonathan test, then we can have a country, I'm gonna pick a random country, then a name, I'll add them to favorites, then I click submit. So this is gonna go ahead and upload to Firebase, of course, like we saw. And guys, if this is the first video you're finding, I highly recommend you check out the previous videos because we've been building this application and there's a ton of knowledge you can learn from this. Okay, so once that's done, it's gonna go ahead and save. And you can see that for the image, we have the image showing correctly. So that's gonna do it for the video. You notice that the this is not like this here. Uh, this style is not actually correct. So it's not actually affecting where we have a, a real image. So let's actually see if we can fix that. 
So here where we have the image, we are passing the style, but oh yeah, oh yeah. So we can actually have the same thing, the same class name, so that it gets overridden. So we can have this here. Okay, what's happening? We can have the class name that already takes the other style. So now if you come back, you can see that it takes it. Okay, good. So this is going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.